Hello everyone, Siri Emerald here, and this will be an unboxing video of the Marvel Hot Toys Iron Man from Iron Man 2 1 6 scale suit up gantry with the Mark IV Ninja Edition collectible set. You have the Hot Toys logo down here, the Movie Masterpiece logo over here. This particular one, this is MMS 160, Movie Masterpiece Series number 160. This set did not come with the uh, brown shipper, um, and you can tell that because of the hologram whenever it doesn't come with the shipper it comes with the hologram that's the hot toys um, hologram on it right there and so um, on the back of the box we have the warnings on it and uh, whatnot talking about that uh, this adult collectible not a toy recommended for ages 15 and up not for children under three years old and down here are the hot toys um, contact information and everything and the little hologram right there. Okay, so let's get it out of the box. Okay, so we have two boxes inside the large box. On this side is the Iron Man 2 Mark IV figure, and on this side is the Iron Man 2. Let's start suit with Gantry, the suit up Gantry. Place you right there. So this piece we have on it um, the a really cool sketching, if you will, of the Gantry um, onto this cardboard right here. It says Iron Man 2 suit up Gantry. Down here in the corner we have the Hot Toys logo and the Movie Masterpiece Series logo. And the sketching continues around onto the side and onto the bottom of the box. And on the back of the box, it says Iron Man 2 wants to scale suit of Gantry Collectible, Hot Toys Limited Presents, Movie Mastery Series. With the cast and crew responsible for this, we have Howard Chan and JC Hong. Um, wings at Soritis. Was the product designer, engineering development team was Wing and Suritis and Kelvin at Koto, painting controller J.C. Hong, package designer T.F. Wong and Monster Jr., photography directors Eddie Ao and Monster Jr., production controller Wing at Suritis, and host of information toy hunters also toys at Tom HK. And there's your typical um, warnings, choking hazard, etc. And again, we have the hologram down on the bottom of that box. So. Let's uh, get this open. It's a shoebox style box, so let's lift this top off. Got a piece of tissue in there. And right in here we have, it says uh, Iron Man 2 suit up gantry. And we'll just take off this piece of thin cardboard here, set this to the side. And there it is. So this is um, what we see him get in and out of his armor in Iron Man 2. And uh, it's uh, quite a piece. It's quite a piece indeed. So let's take this here first. Get to this instruction manual here. All right, so assembling part A uh, is the base, uh, the gantry base setup, and it shows that the uh, backward layers can be pulled back, and then you slide the other layers outward and then tilt them up, as shown, and hold the layers in an inclined position. If you wish to hold them in an inclined position instead of flat, you would pull the hollow cubes outward at the four corners as shown. And then it says to hold the layers in the client position percent to front, press the front edges of the outermost layers as circled in order to attach the two small pillars to the layers as shown. And then press the front edge of the inner layers as shown and attach the four small mechanical arms to the base as shown. Insert the two middle sized mechanical arms to the base behind 
small mechanical arms and then attach the three largest mechanical arms A and B to the base on the left, right, and rear side. So it looks like that. Plane tips. So it says that there's a, a rotatable mechanical arm. Indicated joints allow vertical rotation. Uh, and uh, so one of the arms it bends in several places. The other arm bends in several places. It's like it's very articulated. And I've been to rotate the mechanical arms with excessive force. Otherwise, it may cause damage. And inclined pieces there. So you have a lot of um, rotations and articulations in here. That's pretty amazing. <clears throat> Same thing, part B, double-sided graphic magnets set up. Uh, so you can either do the, the white side or the black side. I think this was what he had in his garage, and I think this is what he had at the expo. I don't remember, to tell you the truth. And here it says how to display it with the suit up gantry. So the helmet piece can be put on in this manner. Now I've seen um, a collector have a custom helmet made for the, the gantry. And he, I had one cut up so that it could be assembled in a proper manner. And I thought that was pretty cool, something I might want to consider I'm moving toward at uh, some point. And here it shows how the chest armor with the magnet, exclusive for the suit up gantry with Mark Ford Limited Edition collectible set, attached the magnetic chest armor to the front mechanical arm, and attached the rear armor to the clip of the mechanical arm, attached the legs to the small mechanical arms on the back. And attach the leg to the small mechanical arms in the front. Right there. And activate the light-up function by turning on-off switch. And input three AAA batteries. Replace new batteries and screw and open the battery cover. Batteries are not included. And to reset the gantry base, push the expanded layers toward the center panel. Make sure the protudent metal pin to slide along the track of the layer as shown. And warning, do not mix old new batteries. And do not look at the LED light directly. And change the batteries, etc., etc. So looks like it has four LED lights on there. All right. This is, uh... What piece was this? I think this is the piece that holds the helmet. So let's get the base out, just down there, and go from there. Go ahead and get this opened up. can be tightened up with a screw right there. It can be tightened up with a screw right there.
sure how this is supposed to bend. That's probably the height of it right there. Tighten this guy back up. Step is these arms up at the top. These little guys here. Let's see if there's any difference in any of them. If there's a left and a right or a front and a back. Okay, there is a difference. the wiring other than that the struts or the shocks or the lifters are all on the same side but the wires are on different sides so let's see if we can figure out which one goes I'm where these. I'm not sure that um, it really matters uh, they come out of the back and then they go um, to each side respectively so really um, I guess it's just a matter of preference so I guess I'm going to put them like this so I'll put these in here as such These will be these arms here. And so look at them. See if there's an actual difference between them. I don't see anything. So we put one here. So, next will be this piece. to be they appear to be identical. So I'm gonna place this one right here and this one I'll place right here. Like so. I'm gonna have to back them up.
All right, that is the suit up gantry from Iron Man 2. Put the little good lines on there. Start with this one. There's um, a magnet on it so that it uh, fits in a specific place. So they kind of uh, snap in, they kind of fit in these little uh, lip, if you will, as well. not real difficult to get it to position. You want to go into a specific spot, each of them do. Mark 4 right there. A little maintenance on this guy. Last two pieces. switch. I put some batteries in there. Probably should have done it before I assembled it. That's okay. There you have it. So tell me what you Please. think about this in the comments below. Follow me on Facebook at Siri.emerald and at Twitter at Siri Emerald. Subscribe to my channel. Like my videos. And thanks for watching Stay everyone. Stay tuned for the Mark IV. See you on the next this. video.